Our first guest this week is Dr. Michael Shepard. He's the CEO of a company called Enosi Life Sciences Incorporated. Dr. Shepard, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Don. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, for those who missed the first interview, tell us again what the company does. Enosi Life Sciences is a research and development company for therapeutics, for autoimmune disease, and cancer. Now you're one of the you were you were the inventor of, of the breast cancer drug Herceptin, which achieved six billion dollars in sales in 2019. Tell us about Herceptin. Herceptin uh, is an antibody. This is what antibodies look like. It's the first antibody that could ever be used to treat. Um, a disease like breast cancer. The antibody came uh, as a result of um, uh, my laboratory work, which was focused on finding a way to treat cancer that would not hurt the patient, only hurts cancer cells. This antibody uh, what we did with this antibody is we found a target on cancer cells, including breast cancer cells, that really doesn't work on normal cells. So by attacking it, we can attack cancer cells, but not normal cells. It was um, a big breakthrough in oncology because it was the first time that anybody had um, created a therapeutic this specific. Herceptin does have some side effects, but they're all manageable and they, they don't hurt anybody really. So, I'm happy that I was part of that. And um, I've been doing similar work uh, ever since the Herceptin days. Well, it's kind of it's very admirable because a lot of people with that success of a, of, a, uh, of a therapeutic drug like Herceptin would get into the business of cashing checks. So that's, I guess that's not the way you operate. Uh, that, that would make everything very confused. Um, that I, I maybe maybe I could make a lot more money that way, but um, somebody makes a lot of money whenever you have a successful drug, so that's okay. And it did um, it did uh, enable me to do a lot of very novel things through the rest of my career. So um, you know, but mostly uh, I'm thinking about new cancer drugs that and, and drugs for other diseases that are similar in that they won't make patients sick. In autoimmune disease, for instance, the same chemotherapeutics are used as are used in cancer. So um, autoimmune disease is a good place to start applying what I've learned in cancer to try to make drugs for that kind of a disease that will not have the same side effects as chemotherapies do. So you're in the process of developing drugs for autoimmune disease right now? Yeah, and in fact, here's a picture of the first one. <laughs> it's a protein, uh, it's not an antibody, it's a new kind of molecule. And uh, the idea with this one is we have identified a target that exists on immune cells that is specific for um, rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. So um, by targeting that, that particular thing, we think that we can very much improve the safety profile and the efficacy of um, drugs used to treat autoimmune disease. What's the average amount of time? I mean, I know it's a difficult question. What's the average amount of time from going from the diagram like you showed us to a successful drug? 
the, from the diagram I showed you, uh, that's already about three years of work. So the diagram's good. <laughs> but uh, then uh, to get from the diagram to the clinic is at least three or four years. And then it's at least five years for clinical trials. And then about two years for regulatory stuff. So 10 years is probably about right. Now, you've got an offering that's available to both accredited and non-accredited investors. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, the offering um, is, is it's called regulation crowdfunding. And uh, you can be an accredited investor and, and you can be a, a non-accredited investor. Um, minimum investment is $500. And uh, the shares are ten dollars each. Why did you make the decision to open it up to non-accredited investors? Well, the idea is um, uh, people uh, often want to invest in uh, in ideas like the ones that we have here, and. Um, so that's what we're doing is giving everybody an opportunity to invest in it before we go to the bankers and uh, venture capitalists. I, I don't know how long we'll be able to keep it open because we are talking to pharmaceutical companies and other parties, but, um, but it will be open for a while. And, and I, I hope anybody who's interested will be able to invest. How do people get more information? Well, our website is the best place to get more information, and, um, and it's very balanced information. It, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff on our website. A lot of ways to get additional information about the investment, autoimmune disease, and cancer. Once again, in OC Life Sciences, Dr. Michael Shepard. Fascinating interview. Thanks so much for joining us once again. Thank you, Don. Bye bye.